Hi everyone. I am uh, preparing for another painting and I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, this container right here, Home Depot, it's a dollar. Okay, I love this thing. I got two of them. I use one for resin. And the reason I like it is because it has these numbers. I'm gonna see if it can focus. See right here, it says 411. Okay, so you can, well, maybe that's not a good example. Okay, like a one-to-one -one ratio right here. One-to-one -one ratio. You can add one there and then one there, and that's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, if you need two, oun two ounces, then you go two and two. Okay, so that's one cool thing. The other cool thing is, where is it? There's a lot of numbers in this thing. Right here, ounces, okay? So when I say 12 ounces of glue and then six ounces of Floetrol, I go to there, and then three ounces of GAC and then you mix it all up. You got, you got a nice amount. And I won't use all this for the painting. I'll use the majority of it, probably three quarters of it. Okay, so that's that. You mix it all up, you've got your pouring medium. GAC, let's talk about GAC, okay? GAC is 16, this is a 16 ounce bottle, $16. Dollar an ounce. I put three ounces in that much pouring medium. Okay, so it's essentially one big and one small painting. Okay, this stuff is responsible for, in my opinion, a certain kidney shape of the cells that I adore. Also, a lot of people ask, because I'm using glue, I guess, do I ever have problems with my paintings cracking? I've never had a painting crack, okay? I, maybe because I live in Florida or something, but this is especially made for preventing cracking, okay? So, that's two really big reasons to use the GAC. I'm putting $3 into a painting to make sure it doesn't crack and to help give really pretty cells. So, yeah, it's more expensive, but you're not using that much of it. So, you know, three goes into 16, I don't know how many times, uh, I don't know, it's not an even number. I think like five or six times. So I get, so six paintings for $16. I don't have to worry about it cracking. That's all I wanted to talk about, okay? So if you're worried about cracking, get some GAC. <laughs> I'll see you guys later when this is all mixed up. Hi everyone, I just thought you might wanna see the view of what's in my backyard, big beautiful lake on this warm January day in Florida. Don't hate me, don't hate me because I live in Florida. Okay, welcome to my mixing table. I love to look out the window on mixing. And uh, so check this color combo out. Okay, I'm going crazy with color. I might even name it. Seven colors, I can't believe it. Seven, did I really do seven? Oh, what? I'm just kidding. Okay, so I actually have two cups of the same color, so six colors. Okay, quinacridone magenta, because if you take out the pink, pink is like gonna be my pop, then you've just got that. So doesn't it look so much better now when you add the pink? Quinacridone magenta. Okay, so I've got my white, I've got Cadmium yellow, light hue, it's a light one. Uh, basics, turquoise, basics, quinacridone magenta, as I mentioned, artist loft, green, yellow, basics, phthalo I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I would just say phthalo blue. And artist loft, aqua green. I have a little digital scale that I use for my paint to pouring medium mixture. And then I have this quart thing with a little measuring that I got at Home Depot for a dollar. And um, I use that to mix up my big bats of pouring medium for each new painting. I go through about, I don't know, about that much pouring medium um, just to get this many colors and cover a 12 by 24 canvas. I probably will have leftover paint. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second when we get started.
So I wanted to show you really quickly, Olivia. It is 95% dry, the little center area. Um, I don't dare touch it. So, um, but I wanted you guys to see how it was drying. It has dried perfectly. I just love this painting. I'm gonna pick it up and show you guys. There's no cracking. And um, I had that question a number of times that does this medium crack? I think maybe because it's, they think that it's glue that it's gonna crack. But as I explained earlier, GAC 800 is specially made to prevent cracking. So adding that into the mix, not only does it help with the cells, but it helps for any kind of fear of cracking. So no problem at all. It's drying beautifully. I'm really, really happy with it. <clears throat> so the painting for today, I already showed you guys my colors and I'll list them in the description box as well, like I always do. It's going to be a very vibrant color scheme. Really, really interested to see how this turns out. Oh, can't get my glove on right. So two cups of pink to go throughout and I got a big cup of white right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, three drops of Spot On Treadmill Belt lubricant in each cup and stir it thoroughly. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I was thinking today, and I wish I had written some of this stuff, my thought process, when I was at work today, and I didn't write it down. I wish I had. But what I was thinking about was if I could, if you could, okay. All right, let me rephrase. Here's the question. What would you tell yourself, your future painting self, to avoid or to do or to not do if you could. <laughs> if you could, would you warn yourself, hey, you know, don't do this. And I am going to start writing those, those things down because the, my day got really busy and now all that stuff that I was thinking about kind of flew out of my head. So, and I was thinking, well, I should share some of those tips of what I would tell myself. And I think the number one thing that I would tell myself is pouring medium. Um, I spent a lot of time and money and not getting the results that I really, really, truly wanted because I was using too much pouring medium in, in Floetrol only. I wasn't using anything else. I was trying to keep it easy and feeling like pouring mediums with three different ingredients is that's too complicated. You know, I don't need to do that. And, you know, now, I wish I had just at least tried it and, you know, learned more quickly because I have a whole bunch of canvases of things that I don't like. Oop, I'm going from the top down. But, you know, that was my learning process. And it happened maybe for a reason. Too much pouring medium is the reason cells break up. And getting that mix right is everything.
when it comes to what kind of cells you're going to get. The mix is everything. That's the part that you can control. If I could just go back and tell myself, you're going to save yourself a lot of money because the reason I was doing that was to save money. But I wound up with a bunch of paintings that I don't like and that is wasting money. Also, I would tell myself that they sell glue all by the gallon at Lowe's for $15. Okay, so that was a big find. At least they do at my Lowe's. This is going to be wild looking, guys. put some white in here. Also, I would tell myself that these two silicones, even though they have the same name, one is spot on treadmill belt and the other one is just treadmill belt. I truly do believe that these are different. Okay, the, whatever's inside of it is different. And use this one. <laughs> That's what I would tell myself. <laughs> Oops, shoot, what am I doing? See, I get to talking. This one's up. Okay, that's all right. This one's gonna have a little more pink in it. And I'll think of more things, guys. For any of you newbies out there that are watching and haven't decided to try it yet. had a subscriber comment the other day and she says you have inspired me I have not poured ever before and I am going to try it and that made me feel so good that made me feel so good that I inspired a newbie to try it and I hope that she and I told her I said stick to the recipe and you'll be fine don't don't try to change it because of money just get small bottles to try it out first nice bright cheerful yellow against that dark pink I love it Another person commented and said that she loves I'm not afraid of color. I burst out laughing. I said, yes, she gets me. I am not afraid of color. Do not be afraid of color. 
I would, another thing I was thinking I would tell myself is don't ever put gray in your paintings because I personally don't like gray in my paintings. So that's my preference. I don't like gray at all in my paintings. It looks muddy to me. But that's just me. I know other people really do like gray in their paintings. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for, truly. You guys should comment below if you have some experience pouring, you should comment on what you would tell your, what you would have told yourself as a newbie to do or don't do. I would love to read that, that would be fun. I should start a thread on one of my pouring groups. Bet there'd be a lot of funny answers, a lot of funny comments. Oh, and I know another one. Okay, hold on a second. And this seems small, but the difference between this stick and this stick, this is a tongue depressor, the big one, and this is the little one, okay? Don't waste your time with these. They're, I barely use these. I have a huge box. These will shorten your stirring time down a lot. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Do a little, I feel like I just did white. I did. I'm gonna continue on. Now, the last time I did, I'm doing a 12 by 24 canvas, which is the same size as Olivia. And I learned from that one that I don't need these to be completely full. <clears throat> so. more full than this but I'm gonna go I think three quarters of the way up I would also tell myself, thicker paint makes better cells. Thicker paint to pouring medium ratio makes better cells. When you first flip the cup over, if cells explode immediately, sure it's fun to look at, but usually the end result isn't as good 
as when you first flip it over and it's pretty smooth on the top with a free of, of cells. And then you use your torch or your heat gun to bring them out. Those are the cells that look better. So thicker paint to pouring medium ratio is better. Thinner mix, you're, you're gonna have an explosion of cells with the silicone added. But they, because they, it's thinner, they'll break apart. They won't be the right shape. They'll be wonky. That's what I call them, wonky cells. Okie dokie. Five cups. That was pretty fast. It won't take a terribly long time. Oh, one other thing I would tell my future self. My past self. How does that work? I don't know. Is um, I usually use to wipe my hands paper towels. But now that I'm using a glue mix, because it's so sticky, once your hands get the paint all on it, so very sticky, a wet rag works so much better to wipe off your gloves. So yeah, save the paper towels for something else if you're not using a glue mix. Okay guys, I raised the camera up a little bit in hopes that when I tilt, you guys will be able to see the whole thing. Get you in on all the action, hopefully. Here we go. Oh, and another thing I would tell myself or you or anybody is don't disrupt your composition because you're trying to cover your corner, okay? If your composition looks good, figure out another way to cover the corner to keep your composition. Don't lose your composition because you're tilting. A lot of newbies over tilt tilt and tilt and tilt until they wind up with mud or all the good stuff slides off and um, so don't do that all right here we go guys <sighs> fingers crossed for luck <laughs> Okay, so cells are popping, but it's not going crazy. Gonna give it a minute. Plenty of paint, filled them up too much again. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get it to where I don't have cup. I don't have like this color right here. I've got a bunch left of that color. So where I'm mixing just enough for one painting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the torch now.
gosh, that's so pretty. This caterpillar crazy here, kind of. Let's see what it does once I roll it around. I think I actually touched the flame to the paint. You're not supposed to really do that, but sometimes I do it. There's no real rules, you know, guys. You can do whatever you want. It's a, it's a, it's your art. You own it. <laughs> wow, I love this. Okay, got purple. I never put purple in my paintings on purpose, but uh, the pink mixed with something. I'm gonna go towards you guys first. See, this is what I'm talking about. My corner right there is being bad. Fun painting. Really neat colors. I'm gonna flip this thing around because I like to tilt that way. Oh my god, I can tell I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> It doesn't look that bad. Oh my God, these cells over here, <gasps> they're so pretty. Okay, I've got a corner situation here. Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody has to deal with it. It's going to affect the way the painting looks. See, here's my corner situation here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna use a little paint in here I'm just gonna hope for the best. negative space right here and I'm like there's so many pretty cells everywhere it's like there's a lot of cells and I only used I used three drops per cup 
Oh, I can imagine if I put four or five, that would be too many cells. There is such thing. Okay, now I'm gonna do what I like to do with these uh, 12 by 24 size is look at it, which way would I have be up and down and is there anything I need to do regarding that? Check all my sides. Uh, here. Okay guys, so I was rocking it just a little bit and the camera shut off, but I was about to come in for the close up anyway, so not a big deal. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this end. <clears throat> Give you a close up. I know the shadow is there for my overhead light. So these are the little bitty cells that popped up when I hit the air bubbles. Okay, here we go. Wow. Look at these. These are my favorite ones. These are really small but really interesting looking. And then look at that. That's cool looking. What? Oh my gosh. And that trail of white. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Hi everyone, I just want to say hello and uh, see you kind of eye to eye. I know I don't show my face a whole lot, I'm a little bit camera shy in front of the facing the lens, it's intimidating, but um, I've gotten better with talking. But I wanted to show you my face and a couple of other things. Um, this is dry, and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like dry. And um, it's really, really cool. It's the first one that I used this formula with. The glue, uh, 12 ounces of glue, uh, I think this was four ounces of Floetrol and maybe three or four ounces of GAC. I think I used that in this. And it got a little bit speckly in the background, but um, it's still really pretty. And it's on a gallery wrap, which is really nice. And um, I've got my Etsy store open now. If any of you are interested in that, and I wanted to show you this one, which is like a spring, how does it go? I think it goes like this, a spring themed pastel canvas. And it dried, no cracking, really, really nice. I haven't put any kind of clear coat on it. It's only been dry for, I think about a week. So I think my general rule is no clear coat on it for a few weeks. I think it takes at least three weeks to fully cure. So, and I actually read about that. Um, why is because if it's not totally dry, then the what is wet underneath, even though it feels dry to touch and it's not totally cured, whatever is wet underneath, you seal that in, especially with resin. Um, that's really bad. You don't want to seal water into it. I don't know what would happen, but obviously probably not good. So let your paintings cure uh, for a few weeks before you go ahead and uh, put something on it. This is my shelf I got for Christmas. <laughs> it's so great. It goes all the way to the ground and I have all my paint stuff on it and then I have my paint actual tubes of paint over there behind you guys. So, but this is so much more organized than I'm an organizational freak, you know. I really am super, uh, oh, OCD about it. Anyway, um, another thing I wanted to mention 
I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers. I am blown away. Okay, I'm like 12 short of a thousand subscribers. And I want to do something. I mean, I guess people usually do like uh, a giveaway. And um, if you comment in this description box, if you, if you comment, then um, I'm going to like do a random drawing and somebody's going to win a uh, painting. And I will let you know if you win. But anyway, make a comment and um, it's just so much fun. You guys are the greatest. I love your comments and your questions. Keep them coming. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, anyway, it's nice seeing you. Okay, see you later.